Hi Ultimate Gardeners, welcome back to the Ultimate Gardening channel. So in today's exciting spotting video, I'll be giving you guys a full-on garden tour of the Ultimate Garden. And towards the end of the video, I'll be harvesting my very first lettuce harvest of the year. And I'm highly excited for that. So if you want to know what's in the garden and the lettuce harvest and what we're harvesting, please stay tuned with us. So guys, here, we're going to start in this area right here, in this corner garden or raised bed like I call it. So right here in the front row line right here, we have Lyripe, which I'm planning not to keep it here because like vegetables and flowers don't do well. But the second row is some Pak Choi, which as you might know, Pak Choi is an amazing lettuce or vegetable to harvest. And so we'll be harvesting some towards the end of the video. And the third row has some better boy tomatoes, which are highly exciting because they're already flowering. And in the middle, you might be wondering, what's that plant? And that is the Early Wonder Camellia from the Silent Living Plant Collection. Um, I planted there, it there beforehand, before these vegetables came in. So it's going to be a permanently there. And in the back row, there's broccoli, as you can see, like three broccolis in the back. And so, yeah, uh, this is what we have been going on lately. And we're going to harvest some pop choice. So let's go ahead and move on in the front. So in the front here, we have all five pots that were just uh, renewed because the old ones had pines in it, but then they died off, unfortunately. So they have beautiful petunias, dianthus, snapdragons, uh, all of that good stuff that I'm highly excited about. So now we're going to enter the actual garden and you'll be seeing a lot of vegetable production because I'm more focusing more on vegetables this year. So you'll see that, but you will have your flower video. So don't give up on me now so let's go ahead and enter the ultimate garden so guys the ultimate garden has gone through many transforms and i like how it looks right now so i might consider this one being the permanent one for right now but it's gonna go ahead and sh go on to the shade house right now so guys this shade, ha shade house has been worked on multiple times and now it's finished but i'm uh requiring or considering removing this black net and putting plastic on it for it could be permanent but right now the shade house is looking pretty bare because of winter as you can see with this original plant the original growth died back but now it's growing back um i don't know what's up with this october magic pink camellia i don't know if it's dying back right now i don't quite know what's going on with it but we'll just leave it there and see what goes on but yeah we have a lot of annuals from last year here but pretty sure all of this is going to be cleaned out and you plants are going to be coming in so now we're going to go ahead and stack back here for naomi um so right here we have an entire line towards the back of cloth pots so we have a better boy tomato here that's setting its flowers already we have a black beauty squash right here from the territorial seed company and if you don't remember the garlic from the how to plant garlic tutorial the video link will pop up up here for you to check out highly recommend that video on that video i give you guys a full on tutorial on the basics on how to plant garlic and the territorial seed company provided with the garlic so here in these two bags are the garlic i think this one's the purple garlic and the one is the original white garlic the right here in the middle one which i'm highly proud of because this is the iron man kill mix from the high morning organic seeds company uh, me and my garden student princess planted this one well she planted it in a video so if you like to see that video the link will be up here once again but in these uh bins right here we have some red cabbage growing right here and some broccoli right here which this broccoli is huge to be the small plant i started with and right here and this huge raised purple raised bed as you saw the video that came out uh yesterday um so or the how you say it the smart pots raised bed this is the one the video we did and this is how it looks like setting its flowers is going good um and if you span over here we have the rose that is growing tremendously good um we have the other rose right here this which is the sunny knockout rose the fast growing trees company sent this one out so i just popped it in here because i want both of them to be like that and then moving on right here we have three cloth pots lining we have another red cabbage some black beauty eggplant and then we have some swiss chard and that one so now let's go ahead and move on to the original so guys this is the original garden bed that i started off this entire garden and this entire channel so right here this garden was completely cut off like right here 
this was the beginning point and only this area was my garden until we expanded this I'm, I'm highly proud of what me and my dad have been doing over the years and of course my team members including my sister which is a great help um, so right here in this vegetable garden it's looking pretty bare right now because all the plants are just starting to come up so in the back we have a jalapeno plant right there over here we have a ghost pepper but I had to cut it back because it was with disease and then up front here, as you remember, the the my favorite vegetable for the 2021 year, and it was the burgundy, the royal burgundy bush beans. And look at this bush beans now, you guys. Um, these bush beans are going to be ready to harvest in like two more weeks, pretty sure. But moving on over here, we have some uh, pumpkins growing on right here. We have a uh, one right about red malabar spinach and we have some more uh, cucumbers growing in the back um, and we have a swiss chard growing that little random plant I stuck in there um, if you're wondering isn't pumpkin supposed to grow during the fall seasons yes so for some zones but over here we have a huge long growing season so I'll be able to like plant uh, pumpkins more later than usual because we barely have snow we don't have snow at all and the temperatures never drop below 40s and stuff like that so now the exciting part we're gonna go ahead and go and harvest some lettuce for tonight's dinner so let's go ahead and go harvest so guys it. now the exciting part the harvesting so i got my little basket here my little snippers right here so we're gonna go ahead and go to the grow bag that princess planted right here we're gonna go ahead and do the cut and come back again i think that's what it calls but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and cut stems right here So guys, I harvested a little basket of kale, but now we're going to go ahead and go to the palm tree, which is way bigger. So let's go ahead and head over to the corner garden. So guys, we're at the corner garden right here, and I'm going to enter to harvest some bok choy. And so this, we're going to do the exact same thing with the bok choy. We're going to remove this entire outer layer of leaves and leave the, the smaller ones inside for they can grow to this bigger size. So let me go ahead and start. Yeah, that's basically a mini harvest if you're saying if I cut too much I did not cut too much they're still growing on so we're just gonna water and fertilize them and they should grow back and we'll be able to harvest more so I'm really excited because look at this cute basket of lettuce you guys this is highly highly exciting of what's to come yet when all of these vegetables are ready to harvest I'm highly excited you guys so yeah let's go ahead and wrap up this video for you guys so guys that's it for this exciting sprouting video hopefully you guys enjoyed this garden tour it's a pretty brief garden tour because usually my garden tours are huge but i just decided to showcase the actual ultimate garden and i'm highly highly proud of myself of what i grow because once again we harvested some pak choy and some kale in the bottom and this is super exciting to me to see what's in the future to come for these vegetables and of course i'll be making videos on harvesting these so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to support my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when a new exciting spreading video comes out, just like this one, make sure to hit that bell notification button so you get notified when a new exciting spreading video comes out. A huge shout out to all of my moderators, which is my sister, Jennifer from Forever Blooms, and Seema from Garden A Little. All their social media links are down video. below for you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Grow big ultimate gardeners. Bye guys.